Hello, this is Cass Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. We are in the Returner's Hideout. In the Returner's Hideout, because I don't actually know what this place is called. Uh, I guess. And we are gonna do stuff. Stuff like talk to Sabin here. I don't know what to tell you, but I do know that I trust my brother completely. He's always thought of my needs for his own ever since we were little. I think you should trust him too. But don't tell him I said that. He'll turn red as a tomato. <laughs> okay then, if you say so, Sappin. I guess we should go talk to Edgar then. Who is right in here? It's not easy asking you for so much. And if we force our ideas on you, we're no different from the Empire. So, we want you to decide for yourself. Indeed. Now, now that we've talked to both of those guys, we can do something that we couldn't do before. Namely, this. Bannon? He went outside just a moment ago. Let's go outside and follow him then. Now, Here's the thing about this. When we talk to Bannon here, have you made your decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? I don't think that's the right voice. Oh well, I don't care. Now, if you say yes to him, then... Or if you say no to him, it'll change what happens slightly. I say no. I see. And we go back inside. And we go outside again. And we can talk to him again, and we have the same option with the same dialogue. If we say no again, he says something a little bit different. I thought as much. And then we move inside again. So here's the thing. We can do this up to three times. If you say yes at any point, it continues on. If you say no three times, it continues on. It doesn't really change much what you do. I think the next scene is a little bit different. Uh, personally, characterization-wise, I would prefer to say yes on the third time, because that seems appropriate for Terra's personality to myself personally. However, what also changes is you will get a, a relic at, in the scene after this one, and the relic you get changes depending on whether you said yes or no on the final time. If you say yes, you get a gauntlet, which gives you two hands. It, by the one where you use two hands on a single weapon, and you double its power. How however, if you say no three times, you get the Genji Glove, which is the one I want. Uh, they're both probably about equally good, but Genji Gloves are harder to come by. Which is why I want it. So there's really no convincing you. And we go inside again. But wait! Oh, how could anyone put their hope into me? S Tara is really down on herself, it must be said. I, can't, I really gotta feel bad for her. But not so bad that I'm not getting the Genji Glove. What's wrong? What happened? Those wounds look awful! S South Figaro. The, the Empire's. T they've taken South Figaro. They're headed this way. So they found us. We haven't a moment to lose. Lock. I know. Someone has to sneak into South Figaro to slow down the enemy, right? That's right up your alley. We're counting on you. Terra, wait for me. I won't be long. And watch out for a certain lecherous young king who shall remain nameless. That guy's like a hawk. <laughs> and Edgar scares him off. Edgar. Old happens to IR, eh? 
What about us? We can escape down the Leith River and make our way to Narsh. I'm curious about that Esper they found in the mines. Very well. I'll ready the raft by the back entrance. It's risky, but we don't have much of a choice at this point. It's not safe here. Come with us to Narsh. It could be a chance for you to gain a better understanding of your abilities. We've no time to dilly-dally. Let's make for Narsh! I understand your apprehension, but too many innocent lives are being lost to the Empire while we stand here and do nothing. Please, lend us your strength. This relic will help keep you safe. The Genji Glove, like I said. So now I'll quickly show you what that actually does, as I've been avoiding that question up to now. Uh, just as soon as... there we go. That relic, what it does is... Well, it increases your defense slightly, but it also allows you to wield a weapon in each hand. It gives you dual wielding power. That said, I'm not going to be putting it on just this moment. Um, oh yeah, by the way, oops, no, don't, no, I don't want you. Gigas Glove is fine. I need to actually look up what this does, to be honest, I don't remember. Uh, the Gigas Glove, I mean, I know what it says it does, but I don't know how, let me rephrase that, I know what it does, I don't know how well it does it. I need to look that up. Uh, in any case, you, as you might have noticed, we have Banon in our party, who we need to put in the back row, because he is kind of, um... A bit of a liability. And as you can see, we can't equip or look at his abilities or anything. Wrong button. We can probably go... There we go. Now, he does have a very good unique command. Which is Prey. Which you'll, you'll see what that does in a moment. Um, let's see, though. Right. Um... That's a good one. Uh, I think you're going to be fine. And... Okay. That that should be good. Uh, although, I need to recheck Blitz because I haven't played this in a while. And... Okay. Raging... This is the important one. Because... Come on, dude. Come on. It's, a, it's the suplex. Nothing's more important than the suplex. Uh, although, knowing Aura Sphere is also, Aura Cannon, whatever, is also good just because it's magic based. Uh, anyway, let's continue on with the show. Unfortunately. Ah, excuse me. Unfortunately, we don't have locks, so we won't be able to steal for a while. Which is annoying, but what you gonna do? Uh, here we go. This raffle will carry us to Narsh. Yep. Head towards Narf while protecting Bannon at all costs. If Bannon falls in battle, the journey's over! Which is part of the reason he's on the back row, because he is the easiest person to kill, and we can't let him get KO'd. At all. And we're gonna fight things on the river. Clearly. Auto crossbow! Suplex! And here's what Prey does. It heals everyone. By quite a lot, in fact. Ed Edgar gained a level! By the way, something I should mention with the Blitz moves, uh, we want to go left here. There's nothing missable in this part, so you don't need to worry about that uh, in terms of the paths you take. Mostly, it just has to do with how quickly you get through it. Some paths are shorter, some paths loop back on themselves. 
Huh, that didn't work, eh? That's a little unfortunate. Uh, no, I feel like I was in the middle of saying something. Right. For your blitz, something to keep in mind is the input, if you are in a, have a back attack, is, in terms of left and right, are reverse what it'll show. Because all the inputs assume that you're on a regular attack, but if it's a back attack, then it's facing the other way, and just, just keep it in mind. Uh, you know, I should... No, that's wrong. You know, I should probably cut some of these battles out, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. <laughs> Aura Cannon is actually really powerful at this point in the game. Um, just because magic attacks are really good at this point in the game. Um, because you'd have so few, you know? Okay, now, this should be... a save point. Hmm... I should probably cure... the darkness on Edgar. Except, I don't give a shit. Because he's never gonna attack using his sword. Uh, although... I what I should probably do is give him the mithril sword. Now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, not that it really matters, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to have it on him. Anyway, we're going to continue on. Hey, the music sort of just cut out. We want to go left here again. The upper route will backtrack here. And it's another save point. That was fast. We didn't even fight anything. Wait, is there music in this part? I'm not even sure now. There might not be. I don't know. The thing with this version of the game, the advanced version, is the sound can be a little bit buggy at times. It plays properly when it does, but sometimes it can be, uh... Sometimes it doesn't update properly right away. It's the thing. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is a pretty minor issue, as it doesn't happen too often, and, uh, well, anyway. Hey, what have we got here? Boss time! It's Ultros! <laughs> you I'm a creek with a paddle, and I'm not gonna let you through! Does that make me a bad octopus? Yes, yes it does. Ultros. Always a bad octopus. So, Ultros here, just like everything else in this river, is weak against fire and lightning. I don't have any lightning, but I do have fire. Yowch! Seafood soup is not on the menu! Hmm, I wonder if I can suplex Ultros. Ooh, that's one tasty morsel! I'd love to get my tentacles around her! Oh, he just killed Terra. Um, that's unfortunate. Suplex! What? What do you mean incorrect? Uh oh. Um. I want to use a phoenix down on Terra, and I want to pray. I'm quite certain that's the correct blitz input. By the way, in case it isn't yet obvious, be prepared for me to screw up the blitz input a lot. Um, it's the sort of thing you get the hang of for a while, after a while, I'm just not very good at it. Okay, that didn't work. Muscle heads, I hate them! Right, so I'm pretty sure that's a counterattack, actually. Now that I think about it. Ouch! You already no, I already said this. Time for more Aura Sphere, I think. 
Okay, no, I was wrong. The tentacle thing is not a counterattack. It just hits really hard. Um, yeah, pretty much. But Ultros here is not actually very hard to beat. It must be said. Um, although having having now said that, I haven't actually beat him yet. Um. Hmm. He is, however, hilarious. So, you know, that's a thing. Aura Cannon! Hmm. Actually, I wonder if I can poison Ultros. I've never tried this before. So I probably shouldn't be trying it now, but I am. Uh, cause you know, cause you know, that's a, just a great idea. Bio Blaster! Well, it, it was. Oh, did I kill him with Bio Blaster? Sluice Club, 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 Club. I guess it got the point? I wouldn't bet on it. It's probably just hiding down there. Ew! Something's stuck to my leg! Terra, get away from there! We should be alright now. Eight-armed freak! I'm gonna smash it with a blitz! No, Sabin! Out of my way, Edgar! And he jumps into the water. Well, he's always been a bit rash. Sabin... Oh, he'll be fine. Are you sure, Bannon? Sir? You're his brother! You should know better than any of us. Any second now he'll flop up onto the rafts, right as rain. Uh, there. Uh, well, well, yeah. Nice knowing you, Sabin. You will be missed. And in, yeah. Sabin! Oh. Uh. Huh. That's unfortunate. And on that note, Edgar and Terra risk toward Narsh while protecting Benon. But what of Sabin, who was swept away with, with the rapids? And how was Locke faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Is it all going according to plan? Tune in next time to find out! Uh, but no, seriously, this is one of the best features of this game, I think. Namely, the... Well, this thing. We have three different scenarios, we can play them in any order we want. And... It gives you a lot of freedom of just... Doing what the ones you like, I guess you could say. Um... That said, I was considering how I would do this part for quite a while in my preparations for the game. Um, and coming up to this part indeed. Because for a while I was thinking I might try to do it, so sort of a choose your own adventure for the audience part, insofar as I would put up all of them at once, I guess you could say. I would, no, not really. Um, but you could say that, and then you can do them in whatever order you want. However, the logistics of doing so are not really um, viable for me right now. Uh, for one thing, because I'm going to need to actually play through all three of them. So doing each it, as if I'm doing each of them first is not really very practical. Um, that said, what I will do is, what you can hopefully see now, is I'll put annotations as they come up. With just nice little links to each part, uh, to the starting point of each one of these, if you want to do them out of order. And if not, 
then, well, then you can just keep watching the video in the normal order. Uh, that said, I'm going to pick which one I do first next time. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, if I do the annotations of this episode, they'll spoil it, won't it? Well, we'll work out how that works. Gonna work later. <laughs> anyway, until next time, when we choose which of the three stunning adventures we play, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. And have a good day.